Right, so I've always wanted to know what it looks like if I was normal, which is not normal. It's a crap ton of makeup piled on, but like, internet, like, not normal, like, conventional. Do you know what I mean? Which, like, in pri prior times is like a more natural look, but now it's like really fake Instagram drag makeup. I've never done that before. I do the same look every time. And I'm gonna try it out. My face is really broken out, so there's that. Also, like, my foundation's pretty pale, and everybody makes themselves, like, fake tan. So there's that. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I'll check in after each step. Alright, my foundation's on, and I look really shiny. Um, again, because, like, I need a shower. Like, my hair is, like, just sticking on its own. That's how greasy it is. Um, but, like, I'm if I'm gonna put this much makeup on my face... I'm better gonna have to shower right afterwards, cause I wear like dark makeup, but I don't wear heavy makeup. Does that make sense? Like, it's like very contrasty, but it's not like thick. Does that make sense? And I feel like the like natural Kim Kardashian Instagram Twitch thought whatever makeup is usually like it's a lot of layers. And I feel like if you saw those people. In real life, they would look totally mental. Also, I don't usually do liquid and powder foundation together, but that's what these mental-looking lunatics do, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, um, yeah, fun times. They bake it on, which is totally unnecessary. If you're not gonna, like, be on a photo shoot set, there is no reason to put this much product on your face. There is just not. I was saying, I'm obviously following the tutorial. Oh, also, I put on, like, a shit ton of powder. My face is almost furry looking. I know that's, like, normal for this stuff, which is not normal, which you shouldn't do. Um, but it, it looks crazy. It's, like, taking away all the definition of my face. Which I guess I'm just gonna put on. But anyway, the tutorial I'm following, this girl's putting on foundation that's, like, seven shades darker than her skin tone. It's just weird. Like, why? I don't- I don't get it. Aren't you supposed to do, like, one shade darker, one shade lighter, just to match, like, how your body may be paced to your tan or whatever? I don't know, it's super weird. Also, I don't have eyebrows. I don't know how to draw on natural brows. Because I use liquid- I use, um, gel eyeliner to put my eyebrows on. And I don't have, like- I don't think eyeshadow is just gonna stick. But it might. I don't know, we'll see. I don't get what she's doing, but she's, like, putting, like, real thick, cakey concealer. Like, I don't- I don't have concealer, I think. I might. I don't know. I usually just use slightly more foundation as concealer. I don't really do this stuff as crazy. Oh my god. Can you even tell? It's, like, it's, like, pasted. It looks like I- like smeared a layer of toothpaste on my skin but this is what she's doing and i'm trying something funny so i know this lighting's also terrible um but i don't have a fancy studio i have a lamp in my room and that's what i got all right you can't even like tell because my face is fairly light anyway but it is lighter in these spots and looks it looks kind of terrifying. I don't know if you can, like... Can you t can you see how weird and cakey and pasty and terrifying this is? I don't look... I look dead, but not in, like, the fun way I want to. I just look ill. And then she's going over with her contour, which is, like... Her foundation's, like, seven shades darker than her th skin. Her foundation is, like, twelve shades darker. And I'm kind of scared. I don't have it as dark, but I do have, like, this contour palette, which is pretty dark. I, I don't contour normally. I use, like, gray eyeshadow. Sometimes purple or brown-ish gray. Like a, like a warm black eyeshadow to contour, if I do. And sometimes I do, like, a gray-purple to look more not, al not alive, not lively. Um... Alright. She's doing it really high. 
She's doing it like on her cheekbones. I would think you would do it in like the little swallows of your cheeks, but I'm not the expert here. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Is this what everybody does? This doesn't seem like the natural process. Why? It's so thick. I'm so glad I am taking a shower after this because I really can't. I'm probably doing this wrong because I don't do this, but also with how terrifying this stuff is, I don't think you can do it wrong. Uh. Alright, so now she like, put my little mirror up here. There we go. Now, back, down. Anyway, she like smears it down. What? This is kind of terrifying. I think I did too much, but also it all looks like way too much. I think that's too high. I don't know. Are faces supposed to look like this? I mean, obviously they're not, because they don't. It looks like I live inside a shadow box. Do you know what I mean? I surely have done something wrong. Hers is like blended more. I can use my foundation brush to blend it. I don't know what's going on. I put it like as high as she did. I just don't do this kind of thing. Now my whole cheek is tan. Would mess everything up if I add more lightness or whatever? Or is this just gonna get progressively worse and worse? Also this stuff is weird and like a thick gel thingy. It kinda like sticks in the palette. What in the world? Oh my god. I think... I think that's helping. Also, I think this is making my face red and irritated because my face gets red really easily and I'm putting so much crap on it it's making my skin angry. Wow. Wow. It doesn't look as sharp, but like, I put a lot on. Is it the lighting? I don't know. My skin's kind of terrifying right now. I don't know. It's getting comfortably close to my lamp. I don't know. Hers is like more dramatic. I feel like I should put more on. Is this the slippery slope that this kind of stuff gets you into? I'll just put more on and more on and more on. Hers is like really, really contrasty. Although she did like cake it on. I probably only put like a quarter of the product on my face that she did. I'm not used to this. What the heck? It's like a third of your face laid out in the sun and got a tan. And then a third of your face did not. And then the other third was stuck in the middle and couldn't figure out which part was at the beach and which was in the ice cave. Does that make sense? That's what this is. Don't they usually do the nose? This lady isn't, but like, just like a blank spot in my face. So I'm just gonna do this. Okay, and then she's putting like even more of the light colored stuff on her face. Which again is, how much is, do you have to spend so much money on makeup because you go through so much? Makeup lasts me ages. The only thing I run out of regularly is eyeliner and mascara. And that's it. Everything else lasts me a long, long, long time. Granted, I don't wear makeup every day, but like... I usually wear a powder foundation because it's really hot and gross and sweaty here all the time. And so liquid foundation is almost never a choice because it turns my face into an oil slick. And my face just looks wet all day long. Um, and that doesn't sound like a good time. Also, she's putting even more powder on again. I'm... I'm... 
uncomfortable. But I am oops, it's all over the table now. That's good. That didn't cost good money or anything. Alright. She's like Taking it onto the highlighted parts, I guess. I'm using the stuff on the table, which is like not good, but again, I'm about to wash my face, so it's totally fine. Also, it's like just my desk. Not that that makes it any better. Can you like, I think my camera doesn't show you how terrifying this is. But it looks really terrifying. <laughs> Alright, let's see what she does next. Okay, um, her eyebrows are, like, in existence. So I don't know if she's gonna get to that part, but she's going for eyeshadow now. And, um, it's like a tannish color. It's like brownish, tannish, caramelish, does that make sense? And... I can't tell what kind of brush she's using. I'm just gonna use. Oh, actually, I should use this one because it always makes you put too much on. Um, I don't know if this is correct, but she's like going in from the crease, but then she like extends it like too far, which I feel like I've seen. So we're just gonna do that. This is exciting. Oh. I already, like, don't look like me because my freckles are kind of disappearing. It just looks like there's really uneven shadows across the light parts of my face. Can you see that? I know, like, it's low light and I'm on my camera phone. My phone's camera. Uh, so it's not super high quality. But I can't be bothered to use my nice camera. Because I just don't do it, I guess. It's more steps to upload. I don't know. So I... Let me start over. Because I'm really good at explaining things that I didn't think through. Um, I have, like, a nice camera. I feel like I didn't do it extreme enough. Like, I think it looks, like, really weird. And then I look over at this lady here and I'm just like... So, I'm gonna do more. Um, should we do a darker color? I guess. I don't know, it's fine. Um, anyway, so I bought this, um, this video editing software at the recommendation of my brother. Um, but I have anxiety, and so it feels like a daunting task to open it up and use it and make the videos I actually want to. Even though it's probably fine, and I'd probably feel happy if I actually did it, but it seems like such a big task that I just don't start it. And then I get mad at myself and I get anxious that I'm spent money on something I'm not using and that I am wasting my time. And then I upload videos on my phone because it's easy. And once I film it and not edit it because I don't edit anything, I can just post it on the YouTubes, but then I'm disappointed that the quality is not very good, but do I do anything to change it? No. Um, I actually, low-key, have a bunch of ideas for music videos, for songs that, I don't know, just like, emotionally, like, make an impression on me. And I don't know how to do them. And then I get anxious and then I just don't start anything. Uh, yeah, great, right? Alright, I blended that and then she put like white eyeshadow on top. And I feel like I look like a weird mannequin. And then she's doing wing eyeliner, which is one thing I can do. Because that's what I normally do. Hers is like very curvy and soupy. I usually do mine straight and then have the top curve it down with it, but we'll try her style. Okay, so I did the wings. Um, again, I normally do them a little bit differently. 
And I usually do like a long sharp inner corner that connects to balance out the heaviness of this. I also look kind of terrifying with wings like this without eyebrows. It's like sometimes it's the look I'm going for. But not with this base. Again. Like, can you tell how old I look like I'm an old timey theater actor and going on stage wearing crazy thick makeup? Again, like, can you tell how thick it is? Do you see the weird texture of my face because there's so much on here? In real life, it's like even more contrasty. Like, there's just like a stripe here. Um, I don't know. Next, see what- Oh, she's doing brows now. I'm gonna figure out how to do this without eyebrows. Okay, because her eyebrows are so thick and dark, and that's like the look, and I, um, don't have them. And I know eyeshadow is not gonna, like, stay. I think I'm gonna first do, like, the dark contour, because it's, like, sticky, to, like, be on there and have the shape. And then I think I'm just gonna, like, put the eyeshadow on top so it'll be, like, on there and not shiny looking this might not work but i won't know till i find out yeah okay <laughs> um i did my best considering there was nothing there this is like this is terrifying my eyebrows look terrifying and i think i messed up but also i've been out and about and seen lots of people with eyebrows terrifying like this. They are really flat because again, um, there's no hair there. And I'm like honestly doing my best. I think given the fact that I had nothing to work with, this could be worse. But again, it's like terrifying. They look like Rockley eyebrows from Naruto. What the are they- I think they're not dark enough either. I feel like everybody makes them scary, crazy dark. Let me just... Yeah! <laughs> is it just me? Is this like- does everybody think this is normal? Does this look normal to everybody else? This is terrifying. Also, when are we supposed to do mascara? Is that like something at the end? Ugh. All right, let's see what's next. She just said we're gonna do contour now. What was all of this? What? We're not done? There's two layers of contour? What? All right, let's see what this is. No, yeah, she's doing another layer of contour. I don't know what the first step was. Uh, let's do this again. <laughs> all right, again, using eyeshadow. I think this is right. I'm not good at contour even though I use unnatural colors. Like, it's hard. You know? And I have, like, defined cheekbones and I still think it's hard. So, if you're out there struggling with contour, don't even worry about it. Just put gray purple eyeshadow on your face and pretend that you've been dead for 3,000 years and uh, you don't need to worry about anything anymore. So, yeah. What is this? This is weird. Why do why my face is getting more defined? Which like that's the point. But also this is terrifying because nobody looks like this in real life. But I feel like this is like pretending that people look like this because it's all like nude colors and stuff. When I wear a lot of dark makeup and put on lip liner under my eyes to make like like eyes are bleeding i'm obviously not pretending like everybody's supposed to look like that and no it's not costume makeup that's how i like my face to look i'm not dressing up as anything else that's genuinely what i enjoy but um what i'm saying is goth makeup doesn't make you feel like your face doesn't live up to the right standards you know what i mean same with, like, just goth fashion in general. At least the way I experience it. I'm sure everybody has whatever. But just, like, you just wear monochrome. 
You can look like you're a zombie hooker, or you can look like you're a shroud with a formless shroud that hovers in the graveyard, and that's fine too. And you just wear contrasting. It's still drag makeup, but it's kind of different. It's like really just pointy drag makeup, but it's just like I uh died a long time ago, but I also never died. I'm undead and dead and dead. And, yeah. I still feel like this isn't dark enough, but, like, compared to the stuff I see, because it seems, like, extreme. Oh, she did her jaw. Right. Because nobody can tell with the bones there, I guess. <sighs> this is so not me. I feel very uncomfortable. I don't think I look, like... I think I look mental, but I don't think I look, like, hideous with this or anything, like, I think a lot of people would find it conventionally attractive, but it just feels weird. Does that make sense? Alright, let's see what the next one is. Okay, then she took white eyeshadow and, like, did def the did defini brow thingy, which I usually do anyway. Okay, and now she's doing blush, which apparently all this isn't enough. Apparently we need to add some pink in there, too. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, again, I'm using eyeshadow. Because <laughs> I'm kind of crafty. I bought, like, a big elf eyeshadow palette in nudes. And then I bought a bunch of magnetic eye thingies. And they don't stick magnetically, so I used sticky tack. But I have one for each. Like, I took all the palettes. I took all the little eyeshadow things out, and I sorted them all. And then, so this is like the lights. So you can do individual thingies, or you can swirl them all together as a foundation. Pretty cool. Or a setting powder. I don't know. And then I have, like, the slightly warmer ones, which can be blushes or nude eyeshadows or whatever. And then I have this one, which is my usual... Um, eyeshadow. I usually do, like, brownish eyeshadow. I don't know. And then this is what I use. I use the black for lipstick sometimes. Sometimes I use it for eyeshadowy whatever. Or for making my eyebrows stuff stick. And then I usually use, like, oh, I use the gray. The gray gray that's not really there. It's like just a neutral gray. I use that for contouring most of the time. But just like a little. Just like a little cell. Anyway, so she's blushing it up. And that's what I'm gonna do, I suppose. I don't know her technique. Um, I'm just doing this. I feel like it disperses it the most evenly. Okay. Now for the mascara. Let me first say, I bought this expensive mineral fusion stuff because I got a sampler of it and I thought it was nice. And I bought the whole thing and it's like really sticky and doesn't make your lashes define at all. It's kind of lame and annoying. Um, the Milk mascara is nice. Um, the Pacifica one's nice. It kind of takes a minute to dry, but it makes your lashes very wispy and pretty. I usually just use NYX everything. Um, the Milani mascara is nice too, but it seems to dry out kind of fast. Um, the Physician's Formula one is ass. Also, they pretended like they're cruelty-free, and they're not. Um, so that's a fun fact. Alright, she put on liquid highlighter, even though we did the highlight at the beginning, and then after the highlighter, she did another powder highlighter. I cannot. Why? Why? This is so wasteful. How much money do you spend on makeup? My god. Alright, I think we're done, and I feel like a clown. This is like the most natural lipstick I have, and it's like very, very, very bright. I overdrew it a bit because... Like the lady in the said, like, if you don't have lip fillers, just overdo it. And I was like, uh, well, obviously I don't have lip fillers because I don't want to put stuff inside my lips. Put stuff around it on top, but not inside. That's, no. Unless it's a piercing. I would put a piercing. But that's, like, through. That's not, like, 
in. Does that make sense? Anyway, can you tell how caked on this is? I know, like, again, that's the problem with this stuff, is, like, on camera, it looks good. In person, it looks... You look like you got drunk, put on your makeup in the dark, and then got up, got sober, and then didn't change your face, and then put more makeup on top of it, and that's how you look. That's what it is. My eyebrows are terrifyingly large. They look like rockly caterpillars on my face. Um, my skin is crying and I can't breathe. It is so heavy and thick. Again, my criticisms, like, you can't tell because I'm on camera and, like, it looks finish on camera, but in person, it's, it's so much. It looks like terrifying theater makeup. And... I don't know. I just look so... I don't know. Unexceptional. Does that make sense? I, again, it's like, it's pretty, but like, it just... It feels like I'm wearing a mask. Like, it's boring and not me. You know? And like, sometimes I do more natural makeup that's like, pretty, but it's not like... This is not natural. There's nothing natural about this. When I do natural makeup, I do like... A light dusting of powder foundation, I do mascara, a light lip, and then I usually put on eyebrows because it's natural than not having eyebrows. Sometimes I don't. Um, I don't know. This is what I would look like if I was conventional. 